How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss the rhombus or the rhombi. In this lesson, you will learn the different properties of a rhombus as well as use these properties in solving various problems involving rhombus. But before anything else, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Okay, math learners, welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 3 of the grade 9 mathematics, which is all about rhombus. The first question is, what is a rhombus? A rhombus is a special parallelogram in which all of its sides are congruent, meaning all of the sides are equal. The next question is, what are the properties of a rhombus? The same as what we have discussed in rectangles, rhombus also acquire the properties of the parallelogram, meaning the first to the sixth property of a parallelogram is also available in rhombus or rhombi. Now, with regards to rhombus, it has an additional three properties in its kind. And what are those? The first additional property is that all of the sides of a rhombus are congruent. This is based on the definition. The second additional property is that the diagonals of the rhombus are perpendicular, meaning when the two diagonals intersect, they form a right angle. And finally, the additional property is that each diagonal of a rhombus divides the opposite angles into half or into two. So, in order for you to learn more about these properties, let's go to our discussion board. Okay, math learners, we are now here in our first discussion on rhombus. We have the figure RIPE, which is a rhombus, in which the diagonals intersect at point N. Now, the given is, if the measurement of angle RIP is 96 degrees, what are the measurements of angle RIE, angle IRE, angle ERP, and angle RPE? So, my dear math learners, in order for you to actually answer these problems, you always need to be reminded on the properties of a rhombus. Now, RIP here is this one, RIP. So, this is the one. This is 96 degrees. Now, the question is, what is the measurement of RIE? R, I, E. Okay, so this is the one. Remember, my dear math learners, that one of the properties of a rhombus is that each diagonal divides the opposite angles of a rhombus. Therefore, if this whole angle is 96 degrees, then it will be divided by 2, and the answer for that one is 48 degrees. So you have answered the first question. Next question. What is the measurement of angle IRE? IRE. So this is the one. Remember, my dear math learners, in the properties of a parallelogram, one of the properties is that the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Angle R and angle I are consecutive angles. Therefore, they are supplementary. And since angle I is already given as 96 degrees, now you can question yourself, what is needed by 96 degrees in order for it to become supplementary or 180 degrees? Very good. That is 84 degrees. So you have answered the second problem. And now let us go to our third question. What is the measurement of angle ERP? ERP. So this is the one. Same as the first problem, RIE, this is also half of the angle IRE. So half of 84 is, of course, that is 42 degrees. Easy, right? And now let us go to the last question. We have, what is the measurement of angle RPE? RPE. Now, my dear math learners, this is the question that is being asked. Of course, one of the properties in the parallelogram is that opposite angles are congruent. So angle R and angle P are congruent. 
if this is 84 degrees, therefore angle P is 84 degrees. However, we are just getting half of it. Then the answer for angle RPE is also 42 degrees. And you have answered all of the question in this given figure. Easy, right? Now let us go to the next problem. Okay, math learners, we are down to our second figure and we have the rhombus CU80 in which the diagonals intersect at point R. Now, these are the different scenarios and there are a lot of unknowns. So let us solve each scenario. Now, the first problem is if the measurement of angle CTA, CTA is 68 degrees, so this is the one, okay? What is the measurement of angle CTU? CTU, so this is the one that is being unknown. Of course, my dear math learners, we can apply the property, the diagonal of a rhombus divides the opposite angles into two. So therefore, if this is 68, half of 68 is, that is 34 degrees. Easy, right? Now let us go to the second problem. The measurement of TCU, TCU is 100 degrees. So this is 100 degrees. What is the measurement of angle CUT? CUT. Okay, so this is the one. Now, my dear math learners, these two are basically consecutive angles. But the consecutive angle for angle TCU is basically CUA and not CUT. Now, for us to know the consecutive angle is that we need to get first the next pair of consecutive angle for this one. So since the given is already 100, so therefore the consecutive angle, which is angle U, is equal to 80 degrees. And since we are just getting half of that angle because CUT is the question, therefore our measurement is only 40 degrees. Is it right? Now let us go to the third problem. If the measurement of angle CRU, CRU, so this is the one, okay, is 3x plus 15. Find x. Okay. My dear math learner, there is only one given in this problem, and this is the CRU. Remember, my dear math learners, that one of the properties of a rhombus states that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular with each other. Therefore, since this is a perpendicular line, therefore angle R is 90 degrees. So we can equate our angle CRU into 90 degrees. So we can just solve that as 3x plus 15 is equal to 90 degrees. And we will try to apply what we have learned in algebra. So we will transpose our 15 to the other side, giving us 3x is equal to 90 minus 15. And that is 3x is equal to 75. If we divide both sides by 3, then the value of our x is 25. So therefore, this is the answer for the scenario 3. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our fourth problem. If the measurement of line segment RU, so this is the one, is 17, okay? And the measurement of RT is 3x minus 4. The question is, what is the value of x? Now, my dear math learners, this is a property in which it is occurring in the property of a parallelogram, in which the diagonals bisect each other. So therefore, this measurement and this measurement are equal. If that is the case, then we can equate RT to RU. Therefore, we will have 3x minus 4 is equal to 17 and applying what we have learned in algebra, we will transpose minus 4 giving us 3x is equal to 17 plus 4 giving us 3x is equal to 21 dividing both sides by 3 and our value for x is 7. So therefore, for scenario number 4, the value of our x is 7. Easy, right? Now let us go to our final example. We have if the perimeter is equal to 72 and 80 is given as 3x plus 6. The question is, what is the value of x? Now, my dear math learners, do not get me wrong. Um, these different scenarios are different with each other. They are not connected with each other in the manner of the given. Okay, So, you might be 
confused. So I just like to correct that. Okay, so if this rhombus has the perimeter 72 degrees, basically, the idea of perimeter is the sum of all sides. So since a rhombus has equal sides, we can divide 72 into 4. So 72 can be divided into 4 and you will have 1. So that has 3, 32, 18. So the measurement of each side is 18 units. Therefore, since 80 is 3x plus 6, therefore, we can equate 3x plus 6 into 18. And if we solve this using algebra, we have 3x is equal to 18 minus 6 and 3x is equal to 12. Therefore, dividing both sides by 3, we have x is equal to 4. So for this fourth problem, we have the answer 4. And we have answered all the scenarios in this given rhombus. Easy, right? So now, my dear math learners, let us go to our final given. Okay, math learners, for our last problem, we have this rhombus without a name, but the two sides are given. The first side has 3x minus 6, and the other side has the expression x plus 14. Now, the problem that is asked is, what is the perimeter of this rhombus? Now, my dear math learners, remember that in a rhombus, all sides are equal. So, for us to know the perimeter of this given figure, we need to solve first the value of our x so that we can have the actual length of the side. So, how do we do this one? Since all of the sides are equal, we can equate these two given expressions. So, we have 3x minus 6 is equal to x plus 14. By doing so, we will combine like terms. So, we will transpose x to the other side. And we will also transpose minus 6 to the other side, giving us 14 plus 6. So, 3x minus x, that is 2x. And 14 plus 6, that is 20. If we divide both sides by 2, we will have x is equal to 10. But the question is, if did we answer our problem? Not yet, my dear math learners. Because what is asked in the problem is the perimeter. So, since our x is equal to 10, then we can have x plus 14. So, that is 10 plus 14 and that would give us 24. If we try this one, that is 3 times 10, that is 30. 30 minus 6, this will be equal to 24. Now, remember my dear math learners that the concept of perimeter is that in order for you to get the perimeter of a given figure, what you need to do is to add all the sides. So, since our side here is 24 and there are 4 sides, therefore we can have 24 times 4 and that will give us 96. So therefore, the perimeter of this given figure or this given rhombus is 96 units. Is it right? So my dear math learners, I hope you have a concrete idea now on how to apply the properties of a rhombus in solving various problems. Now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you had a wonderful time about our session for today. If you do have some questions or inquiries about our topic, do not hesitate to put your questions in our comment section below. Thank you for subscribing, liking this video, and sharing this to your fellow classmates, schoolmates, and even students. This is still your free access math teacher Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much, God bless, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.